Hey, is that folk music that you play there? What is that? How do you call that folk music? <laughs> I think it was Studs Terkel who asked Big Bill Brunzi, did he consider his blues music to be folk music? And Big Bill says, well, uh, never heard no horse <laughs> song about refugees, obviously, and being a refugee. Very nice. Our guest today is Penny Nichols. My name is Ralph Litwin, and the show is Horses Sing None of It. Welcome to the show, Penny. Well, thank you. Nice to have you here. I'm happy to be here. Beautiful song. 
beautiful singing voice and very nice guitar picking. Well, thanks. And you have a very interesting bio. You played in a bluegrass band with John McEwen before he joined the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. Yeah, it was John that taught me how to play the banjo. I don't play very well, but I learned a long time ago from John. <laughs> And I went from banjo to guitar. And now finally I bought a new banjo and I'm going back to banjo. The circle will not be unbroken. The circle will not be unbroken. <laughs> not on my watch. I just saw him just about a, a few weeks ago, as a matter of fact. How's he doing? Well, he's back in the nitty gritty dirt band. <laughs> I met him briefly doing at the okay. Tennessee Banjo Institute years ago. You know, he is playing just beautifully these days. He was the best thing in the show. Are you surprised? I'm not. No. Yeah, he was great. Yeah. So. So what well. else about your disreputable history? Or <laughs> My disreputable history. Well, you know, I was a, I'm an old hippie. Just by way of introduction. Hi, I'm an old hippie. <laughs> um, Oh. So all every old hippie I know has a disreputable reputation. Uh, this is uh, my first album that was put out on Buddha Records in 1967. Sold 50,000 copies. Yes. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. Woo woo. <laughs> and uh, you know it's um, it's all of my psychedelic. It was my psychedelic period. And uh, the best the best tune on it. In fact, this is kind of a collector's item. It shows up in psychedelia uh, type collections of songs. It's called Look Around Rock and it features uh, you know a very sitar like uh, guitar arrangement but I did the guitar so you know at least it has that as a great point of merit about it. <laughs> so I played the guitar on the record and I was very proud of that. All right. Yeah. So how did it, how did it feel to sell 50,000 albums? Uh, like nothing. Like nothing. It felt like <laughs> absolutely nothing. All of my friends were selling a million albums or a hundred thousand albums. So at that time, 50,000 records was nothing. Was nothing. Yeah, nowadays, 50,000 records is a lot. But uh, then it was, I was just, you know, completely a failure, a big flop <laughs> at 50,000 records. How sad. Well, it wasn't actually that sad because I got to do a lot of other cool stuff because I didn't get famous too fast. That turned out to be a good thing, not a bad thing. Good. Yeah. So let's move on to the 70s. Okay. You got it. I spent a lot of time doing, um, you know, background singing for bands and on a lot of people's, played on a lot of people's records. I was one of the first coral referettes in the Jimmy Buffett band with the coral reefers <laughs> and toured all over the country with Jimmy and uh, sang on a lot of people's records, Art Garfunkel's, Fate for Breakfast, Out for Dessert, and um, who else? I sang with Warren Zevon, I sang with Jackson. Well, Jackson used to open the show for me back in the 60s when we were traveling around together. That's a whole other story. We don't have enough time for that story, folks. Sorry. That's, that sounds like a good one, though. <laughs> yeah, that's Jackson a good one. opening the show for, show me, for yes. you. Oh, well, you know that was before he before he had a record deal. I had a record deal before he did, so we went out and did a bunch of gigs together. I saw him recently in a local theater. He did a great show. Oh, he's fantastic. The just, best. Just him and 14, 15 guitars spread yeah. out on the stage. No problem. <laughs> just a little band he takes with him everywhere he goes. Um, one of the songs on my new record, um, uh, I'll Never Be That Old Again, is J Jackson's tune. Um, let's see, what is the name of that tune? Uh, someone, uh, uh, Gone to Sorrow, which he taught me uh, back then in 1967 or 68. So. Um, it's and a beautiful it's this, song. This it's on this record, release. I'll Never Be That Old Again. And, and that this record, in fact, is a retrospective of a music I've done from like 1963 to the present. So there's songs like Shady Grove on there, which I used to do many, many years ago with John. And um, 
all the way up, and then songs like Gone to Sorrow that I did with Jackson, and, and um, up to very recent songs like I'll Never Be That Old Again, which I'll play for you. Great. You want to hear another song? Yeah, Okay. for sure. This song um, is on this new record, and it's about my brother Greg Nichols, who died during the Vietnam War. Um, and uh, it's a song that's true for a lot of people about experiences that we all had during the Vietnam War. So it's one of the new songs that's on that record. And it goes like this. Sad song. Yeah, sad song. Kind of an upbeat sad song. Yep. Yeah, it's kind of like, uh, you know, let's all go do that war dance again, huh? Hey, it sounds like fun. <laughs> <sighs> feel but, like I'm fixing to die rag. Yeah, feel like I'm fixing to die rag. Yeah, it's that kind of a song. Yeah, exactly. 
Exactly. Well, so where were we? The 70s? That's where we were, I think. Yeah. So I did a lot of touring and ended up not uh, deciding I didn't want to be um, 50 years old and be somebody's background singer out on the road. And so I retired in uh, 1983. And the, the same year I got accepted into Harvard University to do research in pitch perception. You know what pitch perception is? I'd just be guessing. You'd just be guessing. Pitch perception is your ability to match pitch. So it's when you're, you know, sharp. Uh, or flat. <laughs> uh, and pitch perception is your ability to match the pitch. Uh, I remember reading on the internet so that that is a skill that can be taught. Yes, it is. And in fact, it's a skill that I teach. How about that? What do you know? <laughs> um, actually, um, I've been teaching singing for homespun tapes for uh, a number of years, since about 1985. And I started doing that while I was doing my research in pitch perception. I studied for a long time singing with uh, a lady named Florence Riggs out in Los Angeles. She's a fantastic singing teacher. And uh, that's part of what got me interested in doing the research. So I went to Harvard, got my doctorate in um, the field of uh, music education and the psychology of music and how, pe how people remember what they hear musically. So I teach singing and I specialize in people with pitch related issues in their singing. And I also teach harmony singing. I teach people how to sing in harmony by ear. And um, I have a set, a two CD set you don't have, unfortunately. You have the singing lessons. Uh, that's the singing lessons on homespun tapes and I also have harmony lessons, singing and harmony lessons on my website. Um, so that's, that's kind of what I did during the 80s. I, I retired from singing full time and went to school and taught. We should, and, I'm sorry, we should what? We should tell folks how to get in touch with you via email. Oh. If they want more information on this subject or any of your uh, information on any of your recordings. Yeah. Let's do and that. I can't read it. Maybe you it says know what pen it is. There it is. P E N S O N G S, pen songs at AOL.com. And um, my website is www.pennynichols, big surprise, <laughs> dot com. And all this stuff is over there on the website. So anybody can go there and check it out whenever they want. Beautiful. Yeah. What a segue. What a segue, <laughs> right. Okay, another song maybe. Yeah. Let's do another song. Let's see, what was I going to do? I think we were going to do, um, oh yeah, a bluegrass tune, right? This is on this record too. This is a, a tune that John asked me to write, John McEwen, for a project he was doing, and then he didn't use it. But it's such a great song, I decided to sing it myself. When a girl falls in love, all the world's like a dove, held in the palm of her hand. But in the
for someone like me But I'll be out riding that high flying dove My heart is finally free Love, oh love, why do you run so? Wings on your feet won't let no grass grow Run while the moon is riding high, boy, chasing that high flying dove. Love, oh love, why do you run so? Wings on your feet won't let no grass grow. Fun song. Great singing. Thanks. Cool. I love to sing. Can you tell? S yeah, sing another <laughs> song because I think we can oh, okay. squeeze two in it. Okay, okay, right okay. Now. I'll hurry. Let me think. Okay, here's a new song. This is going on the next record. In the pumpkin field on the edge of town, life goes on when the sun goes down. Seasons come and seasons go. Who's to say what seeds will grow? Farmers plow and plant all day. At night the fox comes out to play, looking for love in the hay, down in the pumpkin field. In the pumpkin field on the edge of town, life goes on when the sun goes down. Seasons come and seasons go. Who's to say what seeds will grow? Saw an elf and a wicker man dance a jig hand in hand. Listen to the crickety crawly band down in the pumpkin field. Rich lone black gold weeds spring up and leaves unfold like blossoms neath the harvest moon where mothers revealed and winter's wounds are healed down in the pumpkin field in the pumpkin field on the edge of town life goes on when the sun goes down seasons come and seasons go who's to say what seeds will grow Fertile soil stirs the blood. All God's creatures wriggle in the mud. Jump when you see what the harvest yields down in the pumpkin field. Big yellow pumpkins laying about. Between the leaves they yawn and shout. Quiet down, we're tuckered out. Down in the pumpkin field. Rich, lone, black, Gold weeds spring up and leaves unfold, life blossoms neath the harvest moon where mothers revealed and winter's wounds are healed down in the pumpkin field. In the pumpkin field on the edge of town, life goes on when the sun goes down, seasons come and seasons go. Who's to say what seeds will grow? Who's to say what seeds will grow? Who's to say what seeds will grow? Yeah. <laughs> A little Halloween treat. A little Halloween treat. We're, we're taping on October 25th, so... You won't see this till after Halloween, probably. But it doesn't but matter. Have a scare anyway. The Halloween anyway. spirit is in yes. the air. Yes, be frightened. Woo! Woo! Well, it's been a real pleasure to have you on the show and listen, sit well, here listening at your knee. Well, it's, it's been a pleasure to be here. I, I wish we had more time, but we're play, doing great. Play another tune and we'll All right. check it out. 
Let's go out on this song called Strawberries. It's on that same old record, the new one. That same old new record, <laughs> Strawberries. And yeah. Featuring Ralph. Some like it hard and sweet. 